Why is Tenobu is more of an ego than a parrot? Osigui Omo Ikoroda. Omo Ikoroda. Welcome to the news. And thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we we'll post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. The ability of parrots to learn and mimic sounds is one of the factors that contribute to their popularity as pets. According to local slang, parents often talk too much and can be annoying, despite being highly intelligent birds. Then there are eagles, which are some of the largest birds with instinct characteristics. It is common to hear someone say that you speak too much like a parrot, and it's also common to hear someone that you are as strong as an eagle. Let's quickly evaluate what the number said to determine whether he is correct or not. Number one, eagles have vision. It is well known that the eagle has an excellent vision. Sight is the most powerful of all eagle senses. Great leaders from the past and present all have one thing in common, vision. This is a successful leadership characteristic today. We all celebrate Lagos because of Tunibu's visionary leadership. Leaders need to have a vision that directs and inspires the team to work towards societal goals. For great things to happen, our leaders need to have a clear vision. Number two, eagles are fearless. An eagle will never give in to its prey's size or strength. It will never back down from a fight to capture its prey or reclaim its territory. Fearless leaders achieve success. They confront issues head on. Number three, eagles are tenacious. This can be noticed during a storm. When other birds fly away from a storm with fear, an eagle spreads its mighty wings and uses the current to soar to greater height. The eagle takes advantage of the very storm that lets a bird fear ahead for cover and head for cover. Leaders face a variety of difficulties, including storms that they must weather head on if they are, if they are to reach new heights. A leader should not be afraid of a challenge, but those who put their hope on the Lord will have their strength renewed, according to Isaiah 40:31. They will fly like eagles, run without getting tired, and walk without feeling dizzy. The only bird that will prick an eagle is the crow. He sits on his back and bites its neck. The eagle does not react to challenge the crow to fight. No time or effort is wasted on the crow. He just opened up his wings and soars higher in the air. As the altitude rises, breathing becomes more challenging for the crow. The lack of oxygen eventually causes the crow to fall off. The time of leaders is not wasted on crows' destruction. Number four, eagles are high flyers. Eagles can fly up to an altitude of, of 10,000 feet, but they are able to swiftly land on the ground. At 10,000 feet, you will never find another bird. If you find another bird, it has to be an eagle. Great leaders are problem solvers. They don't complain as the pigeons do. They love to take challenges as the eagle when the storm comes. Number five, eagles never eat dead meat. An eagle never consumes dead meat. To put it in another way, an eagle does not scavenge. It only consumes the meat of the prey it kills. Eagles consume raw and fresh meat. A real leader associates with those who are dynamic and liberal in their thinking. A leader must surround himself with intelligent individuals who can reason, decide, and act. These are the leaders who alter society. Great leaders have a responsibility to search for them. Eagles are energetic. Number six. Although eagles are dynamic and visionary, those who take time to reflect on their past experiences and re energize themselves. At around 30, this occurs. When the eagles turn 30, their physical health begins to rapidly deteriorate, making it difficult, making it challenging for them to survive. The eagle never ceases to exist, which is, which, which is what makes it so fascinating. Instead, it retreats to a mountain top and undergoes a metamorphosis over a five-month period. It bangs its own beak against a rock to remove it, then pulls out its talons and feathers. Each stage results in the, parts, in the body parts that were removed growing back extending the eagle lifespan by another 30 to 40 years. The best leaders constantly check and balance their personal and professional lives and strive to learn something new each day. 7. Eagles nurture the younger ones. True leaders are not dictators. They grow alongside their people. They strive to help individuals in the team or society reach their full potential. They teach and guide in the same way that the mother eagle does. They never stop challenging, but they also never stop inspiring and leading. Today, Tsunibu happens to be the greatest leader that has groomed people to become successful leaders in their own right.
His vision is clear and he possesses all the characteristics mentioned above of, above of the ego. Tenable said he does not have the traits of the highly intelligent parrot, but he said, I talk less, think more, and do more. I am more of an ego than a parrot. Okay, this piece is really, really beautiful. <laughs> well, uh, I think... Um, I think what meal, I don't know for, uh, this piece is beautiful, oh, no doubt. It is really, really beautiful. In fact, I find this very fascinating. I love, I love the way they were able to, you know, put in, you know, characteristic of their candidate in it. But this is, is this what we want to hear? No, this is not what we want to hear. I want him to come out. I really want the APC, especially the APC party, to come out. I really, I am hunger, as in, I'm thirsty to see their manifesto. I want to see what they're going to be saying. I want to hear who is the spokesman again. First is Kanyamo. I want to hear the spokesman tell us what their candidate will do and how he's going to go about doing it. And I also want to see their candidate himself come out, grant interviews, you know, give Nigerians the opportunity to question him so that it will not be like see if it is a, it is a, it is a script. Let them call, let him come out. Let them question him. Oh, oh, this one. How are you, going, are you going to go about this particular sector? This particular sector that has been taking this um, this administration a hard time, giving them a hard time. How are you going to be able to solve this particular problem? You know, we want we want to be able to because this is the only period we have to interact with these people. I will say in no. the only period you have to interact with a leader, most especially a leader. These are Nigerian leaders. Is the is during this period. You hardly hear from them, hear them communicate with us after they go into power. Except that leader is one that is so unique and the one that really, really have the interest of Nigerians at heart. Yes. Yes. That is how it is. So I want, we, I don't know about you, but this is what I want. Let Kuntunumbu and his, you know, campaign team come out and tell we Nigerians, not this one that is an ego. Look, you don't need to tell us. Show us that you're an ego. Prove to us that you're an ego. By coming out, you know, addressing things head on. You don't share away from the crowds. You tell the people what you're capable of doing. You tell the people the time range. Okay, let's say you're going to come in to say, oh, insecurity, you're going to be using free strategies. And the three strategies, you're going to tell us, oh, the, each of the strategies will take six to nine months. This is who and who we are going to go. Tell us all those things are what we want to hear. Maybe he's going to be able to convince us, you know. But let them come. I am still, I am so, I'm hungry. Before I go speak tomorrow, test, I am thirsty for them. Is it Thursday now? I really, really am anticipating, anticipating in the world. I just speak to Maruta in sense. I'm anticipating their manifesto, how it will look like and how it will 